So we just dropped Maddie off at her friend's house. Well, she drove up there and then got out and I got in. And now we're going down town to uh, what's known as the Cotton Wall for an event called the Borderland Jam. Bunch of... Uh, Eight hundred feet from the traffic circle. Continue straight to stay on Hitchmere Boulevard. Thanks, Google. Yeah, so it's a bunch of graffiti artists um, paint this huge wall every year. And then like the week before the event, they paint it all black again. And, and then they come paint on it again. And apparently people all around the States and around the world come to do this every, uh, every year. So hopefully this is a fun thing to do. And it's all the way downtown. So it's like a half hour drive. Yeah. So, all right, that's it, we'll take you along. This is all pretty cool, but I can't read graffiti, so I don't know what any of it says. But it's pretty awesome. It's cool that these businesses let them do this too, instead of it just being like, like just looking all messed up, you know? Yeah. Escribes pero no lo mandas Tu pack me llega por tandas Quieres meter a sus amigas Pa' que me disfrute entre tantas Si a ti te encanta lo fijo No me importa quién lo dijo Pero sé que tú eres la reina Del puro pe... Yep, this is a pretty cool area I think that's gonna be Homer Simpson That's the first thing I've noticed what it was That's gonna be awesome. With all the low rider stuff. Yeah. I wonder how they determine like what spots you get. Like, what I mean, well, just kind of coming back. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if they reserve spots or if it's just first come first serve or if there's like an organization that does this. I tried to find out more about it, like on the internet. And there was a Facebook page that like no one's updated in years. And I heard about it because someone posted like one Instagram thing about it. So I don't know if there's like an organization that puts this on. If I find out more info, I'll put it up uh, somewhere in here. It's her. I didn't realize it was like her. She was doing it herself on the thing. I didn't either until she turned around. Yeah, that's cool. So I feel like this goes through the night into the next day because a bunch of the, the spray painter people, I guess, graffiti people, just came by with a bunch of uh, like Miller High Life 40s. <laughs> so they may be painting until late into the night. I don't know how this works. I'm not going to be here that long. No. You stand that light? No. No. No, no, no. I'm trying to pile of Modelo there. Oh, there is a pile of Modelo. Yeah. <laughs> it started yesterday, so. That's why they're already so far along. They, they started yesterday at some point. Uh, and this is tons of progress, just like in a day and a half. 
Very impressive. Well, that was really cool. Yes, it was. Um, way more interesting than I thought. It could have been really bad. But apparently, after walking around, it's some uh, Frontier Foods and Cold Storage building. I don't know what the other buildings were, but yeah, they let them come in graffiti once a year. Are you hot? Yes. I was about to be done, but now we gotta start over. I'm just joking. <laughs> but now it's time to get some uh, authentic uh, Tex-Mex Don't tell food. them where we're going. We're going to tell everybody about the spot. Oh, yeah. Shh. No one can know about this. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Prendemos por lo que va a venir. 